Hello everyone, welcome back to the Forge. As you can tell, it's raining here today. Uh, now, on our last episode, we forged out a lantern hanger or you know, just a spike wall hook. We split it to two and a half inches. And I went to tell, show my nephew how it turned out and he said, you know, with a little bit of work, that would make a really cool push dagger. So today we're going to take this spike, we're going to follow the same steps we did with this one in terms of splitting it the two and a half inches down. That'll be what will become the handle of our push dagger and we'll forge the blade out of the rest. So let's go ahead and get this over to the bandsaw and get it cut and then we'll get it thrown in the forge and get to work. See how this project turns out. this project where we wanted to leave this area here thick to help to get help give extra support when we do this push dagger we're going to go ahead and we're going to forge this down to the thickness that we would like to have on a knife blade at which point we'll bring the neck up and then begin the forging process of the blade we will spread it towards the end of the project at which point we will fold these around and then we will hammer these into some spikes to have here on the end for decorative purposes or whatever but uh, the process from this point forward will be much like forging a regular railroad spike knife. So we're going to go ahead here shortly and uh, when this gets up to temperature and get the press fired up and, and get to moving some metal.
we're at this point right now, the, the bulk of our push dagger is forged. We've got our little hooks forged out. Next, we're going to go ahead and heat this back up because it's going to cool off when we sitting here talking. And we're going to go ahead and hammer these down and rotate those around so they'll be up here in orientation on the same plane as the blade. Then we'll move on to some more cleanup, straighten up a few things. Then we'll be ready to go ahead and quench it in some water and then get over to the grinder and clean it up and see how it turned out. For the most part, there's kind of what we're going for. Uh, we're going to take it back over to the vise, get our file and hot file these areas in here just to clean them up, make it easier on the fingers and everything. A little easier because you can't really get a belt in there too good. Uh, then we'll move on to grind the profile and get some bevels on it, and we should be getting close to being finished up. All right, there's where we are so far. Let's go jump on the grinder and get to cleaning this sucker up, see how she turns out. folks that's how it turned out not too bad for an old railroad spike uh, I hope this project makes you want to go out to the forge you know and try this uh, give it a go uh, I'm sure there's a lot of different variations someone could make of this a lot more they could do to it I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out uh, for our first try uh, I appreciate you for joining us today if you would hit that like and subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. You have a good one. Bye-bye.